Thank you for watching Hexagon Geospatial eTraining, subsetting an image with a shapefile. I'm starting today with two files loaded in the Imagine Viewer. TM00 is a Landsat image showing a portion of Washington State. It's displayed using a near-infrared band combination, so our vegetation appears red, bare ground is a cyan blue, and our water is dark blue or black. I also have a shapefile, winucci-drainage.shp, loaded in the viewer. This shapefile is a polygon vector file of the Winucci River Valley. In this video, I'll use this file as the defining boundary to subset the Landsat image. The first step when subsetting a shapefile is to create an AOI layer based upon the vector polygon. To do this, I'll click on the polygon in the viewer to select it. Next, from the Edit group on the Home tab, I can click the Copy from Selected Objects button. You'll notice that a new AOI layer has been added to the Contents pane and an AOI polygon has been created following the boundary of the selected vector polygon. I no longer need the shapefile, so I can remove it by right-clicking on the layer in the Contents pane and selecting Remove Layer. Sometimes the image under the AOI can make the AOI polygon difficult to see. We can change the style of the AOI by first selecting it in the viewer and opening up the Styles tools from the Style Properties on the Drawing tab. Here we'll change the width of the line and change the foreground color to yellow. This creates a thick, dashed black and yellow line that is much easier to see over the imagery. The AOI layer can be saved to use at another time. By selecting File, Save AOI Layer As, you can define where the file should be saved, give it a name, and click OK. Next, I'll create the subset image. From the Geometry group on the Raster tab, I can select a Subset and Chip, Create Subset Image. The input file has been defined by default with the active image layer in the viewer, but I'll need to define the output file name. I'll call this Subset and click OK. I'll turn off Ignore Zeros in Output Statistics. Then I'll click the AOI button. This allows me to define which AOI layer is used for the subset boundary. In this dialog, I have the option to select Viewer as the AOI source. Always be sure at least one AOI is selected in the viewer with a bounding box around it before using this dialog. When I've made my selection, I can click OK and then OK to the subset dialog. The process list will show the status of the image and indicates when the processing has finished. When it's done, I can close this dialog. I can now add a second viewer and display the subset image. The first thing we notice is the colors are very different than the colors in the original image. The display colors are applied with a contrast stretch that is calculated from the image pixel statistics. Because there are a lot less pixels in the subset image, the calculated stretch values are much different than the original image. I can easily apply the same colors to the subset image by saving the breakpoints from the original and applying them to my subset. I'll activate the original image in Viewer 1 and use the Adjust Radiometry tools in the Multispectral tab to open the Breakpoint Editor. In this dialog, I can click Save to save the breakpoint file. Next, I'll reactivate the subset image in Viewer 2. From the Adjust Radiometry tools, I'll select Load Breakpoints. I can select the file I just saved and click OK. The breakpoints that define the stretched pixel values are now applied to the subset image and the colors look identical to the original image. I can now save the image with the breakpoints so each time I load this image, the colors will look identical to the original image. Thank you for watching this e-training module from Hexagon Geospatial. For more e-training, visit hexagongeospatial.com/e-training.